Bray, I went ahead and planned out our trip to go to stay at an inclusive resort nearby, so both you and my son can stop worrying about where to go now. Um, what? Every year, we make sure to plan a trip out to take my grandkids and everyone somewhere, right? And this year, we will all be going to this resort that I was recommended to, and it's all inclusive and has a water park. I made the reservations for the last weekend in July, so please be ready to go by that time. This place is pretty expensive, and it rarely ever has any rooms open for reservation in the summer, so I think you all are really going to enjoy this trip. Uh, Holly? Normally, we always decide where to go for summer vacation based off where the kids want to go. So you... <sighs> you going and reserving a place for everyone without asking my husband or I... That wasn't very smart of you. Excuse me? Are you trying to say that you don't like what I've done by planning this trip to that resort out for us? I'm not trying to be rude about it or anything. It's just... This year, my husband and I had something else in mind for summer vacation. You had other plans in mind? Then you go ahead and change those plans so that they match up with this resort vacation I've made. What? Well, about that... I went ahead and got us all a reservation at a very famous resort that is otherwise fully booked for the summer. I was lucky enough to look at the website just at the right time when someone else had cancelled their reservation. And so there is no way I'll be able to change my plans on my end. So you figure things out on your end and do not ruin this for me. Now, go ahead and tell Patrick and my grandkids about the new plan that have been made, please. Patrick, sorry for texting you while you're busy with work, but do you have a second to talk with me? Hey, Bri. What's going on? Um... Your mom, she went ahead and reserved us a trip at the resort without even asking any of us first. Huh? She told me that she got a reservation for a really expensive resort during the last weekend in July and had been lucky enough to get the days that someone else ended up canceling. And now she's told me that we have to be available for that trip and can't have any other plans. Wait, wait, wait. Are you serious? Now she's gone ahead and thrown a wrench on her plans. Uh, I didn't know how to tell her that she made a huge mistake. So I just said that you and I had other things in mind for summer break. Unfortunately, my mom isn't that smart of a person to understand what you were saying. She told me to change all of her plans around then and make the resort vacation our top priority. I see. I had always been wanting to tell her to stop coming along with us and the kids on our summer trips. But now she's gone ahead and jumped the gun. I thought we were finally going to be able to avoid her by setting up our own plans during a different time period, but... Well, what should we do now? We had plans around that last weekend in July, yet now her plans have gotten us in the way. I know. Let me have a word with my uncle about this first. <laughs> Good idea. I think you should be the first person she should talk with. And just to be safe... I'm going to let the kids know that no matter what they hear from their grandma about her plans, they are to only stick to what we have planned. I'll let them know that as well. We need to make sure there isn't any more confusion here. <coughs> Holly, good morning. We are going to be leaving our house right now. We will be at the station in about 10 minutes or so, and then once we've picked you up, we will get on the interstate and head south. Alright, good. I'm already at the station and have been waiting. By the way, who is the one driving? I'm driving. I see. Then please make your way over here as fast as you possibly can. Patrick, how's your mom doing? I just came out of the rest stop with some snacks and drinks for everyone. And I thought that you guys would be back from the restrooms by now. About her? She's been talking my ear off over here about how we should have taken the bus instead of having you drive. And she's complaining about how she thinks your driving is too dangerous and that it's going to get us all killed. But she was the one that asked us to drive all the way out in one day. If she didn't like the idea of us driving this long and having me be the driver, 
then she should have planned things out a bit more. She's also been going on about how you're my wife, yet you, my wife, yet you don't seem to be very thoughtful of anyone. I'm sure that's because I'm not listening to her right now. Because I'm focused on the plans we have made. <laughs> She's been so dang annoying that I just walked away from her and I'm going to join the kids over at the playground. <laughs> well, I'm going to grab one more drink from the inside, and then I'll be ready to go again. Bree, you no longer have to come back to the car now. What? Once my son and the grandkids are at the back of the car, we are going to be heading out and on our way to the resort. Um, but that would mean... you leave me behind here. That reservation I made at the resort we're going to is only meant for four people. What? But there is five of us here together, right? Oh, Jesus. You really aren't that great at taking any hints, are you? I'm saying that I never reserved a room for you at the resort. <laughs> You are just our driver, and that's all you are. But we are going to be using this car to make it to the rest of the way, and to drive around the area, so you will have to walk all the way back home. Walk all the way back home? You do realize that we are on the side of the interstate, in the middle of nowhere pretty much, and it would be close to 170 miles before I make it back to my house. Well then, you'd better figure something out by yourself now. Then what about a car and who will be driving it? Holly, the last time I heard, you had your driver's license taken away from you, right? Which means you can't drive now. But I still have Patrick here with me. Well, since you're aware of the new plan right now, you can take your things and head home. What? Alright then. Patrick? Have you made it back to the car yet? Not yet, actually. I'm still hanging around the playground with the kids. They've both been having a blast playing here, so I've taken a seat on one of the benches and I'm eating my sandwich. I also got myself a Coke, so I'm drinking that with it. Then we're going to have to talk about a change of plans that have occurred. I'll come over to you right now and we can figure things out. What? What's happened? I just got a text from your mom telling me all some pretty crazy things. She told me that she only made reservations for four people at that resort. Huh? But there are five of us heading there right now, yet she only reserved for four people? The reason why she did that is because from the very beginning, she's planning on enjoying the resort with you and only the grandkids. I have driven us all the way out here and we're only another hour or so from the resort. But now she's telling me to walk myself all the way back home. Are you kidding me? You're so close to the resort now and currently at a rest stop. Which isn't the easiest place to walk back home from. I didn't think I'd have to deal with her bullying me like this just yet. And was hoping we could all make it to our destination first. Guess we have no choice now with her. Does she even have a clue that once I found out about this, along with the kids, we'd all be on your side and want you to come along? I wonder if she even thought that far ahead. I doubt she did, and that's why she told you to pretty much screw off and find your own way back home. Wait a sec, there isn't anyone else that can drive the car, right? Right? When your mom just had told me to go home, I was thinking in my head that I'm only the one who can drive the car. I kind of wanted to ask who would be driving instead of me, but she beat me to that question and gave me an answer. She thinks you're driving. So I just went along with that answer and didn't really say much else. Well, fortunately, this isn't a joke, because who would actually be able to drive us the rest of the way to that resort now? Well, you, right? No way, no how. I told you this isn't a joke. My license was taken away from me, just like my mom's, and so there's no way I'm risking getting behind that wheel. That's exactly right, but I think your mom forgot all about when that happened to you. Which is strange, because that didn't happen too long ago. Now that you mention it, though... She was talking to her neighbors a couple of weeks ago when I was at her place, and she was telling them about how I'd be driving. I thought she just had things backwards and meant to say to them that you'd be driving, but... Well, had she remembered that you can't drive right now, she probably would have had me drive us all the way there, and then told me to leave once you guys got checked in. That is very true, sadly. You are still over by the playground eating and taking a break on that bench, right? I'm going to come over there right now. Can you call the kids over so that the four of us can talk about what should we be doing now? 
Sounds good. See you in a sec. Bree, you come back here right now. What do you want now? I'm telling you to come back here right now, and I don't want any questions. And while you're on your way back here, you text your husband and tell him that it is not a problem for you to drive us the rest of the way. I'm sorry, but that's not happening. Why come? Just turn around and come back here and everything will be fine. There was a bus leaving the rest stop that I hopped on and it will be taking me all the way back home. What? A bus? It's technically illegal to be walking on the side of the interstate due to the high levels of danger that come with it. And so, buses are usually running on them for a long distance trip like these. I don't want to be questioned by the police and have to pay a fine for walking out there, so I paid a little extra for the bus ticket. I don't care about any of that though. Right now, there is nobody here who can drive this car. I told Patrick that I forced you to go home, so he'd be the one having to drive us the rest of the way. And that's when he turned to me and said he cannot drive. I was totally thinking that he had a driver's license and would be able to take us all. I don't have my license either anymore, so you are the only one who can drive out of the three of us that can drive now. Ugh, don't worry, because Patrick and the kids are on this bus with me. What? They came back to get all their things out of the car, and that's when you were able to talk with them again about me. But after that, he took the kids and went on one last bathroom break, right? Well, they actually used that chance to get on this bus with me before it took off. Then all four of you come back here right now. I am telling you that you are allowed to come back here and drive us now, so there is no reason for you to still be riding that bus back home. But the thing is, we are currently on the interstate and going 75 miles per hour. Huh? We have already gone about 15 miles now, so there is no way we can get off until the next stop and that's maybe another 30 miles away? You all hold it right there! What about the car? You know that I can't be the one to drive it. I know that. And as a side note, I currently have the key to the car with me. Don't worry about a thing. How am I not supposed to be worried about any of this? The car can stay there as long as we need it to, so we'll be back for it soon. You just have to wait there another 30 minutes or so, and a bus will come take you to the rest of the way to that resort. So please, enjoy your trip there with the rest of those guests on the bus. Huh? Also, if you have anything else you'd like to say, please talk with your son about it because I'm going to take a nap here. Goodbye now. Hey, Patrick! What the hell is going on here? Ah, so it appears that Uncle Ray and the crew have arrived to pick you up? Huh? So you knew about what's all been going on here? Well, I've heard quite a bit about it. And just to let you know this now, even though it's totally unrelated, I'm going overseas for a while to work. What? I'll be over there for two to three years, so I'll be bringing the kids and Bree along with me to find a house over there. And today is the day we move out of the house and fly out. What did he just say? I never heard anything about all of this from you before. The plan was to talk with you about all of this in the lobby of the resort once we had arrived there. Huh? At the resort? And the whole reason that Uncle Ray is there picking you up now is because the original plan was to have him come out to the resort to see us. But, Mom, you went and made reservations for only four people on purpose, with the intent of leaving Bree behind, right? You went and told Bree all about that when we had parked at the rest area and said that she was not going to be able to stay with us. And then you told her to walk home all by herself because we'd be taking the car. You used the guise of a very fun family vacation to an all-inclusive resort to harass my wife by sending her away just before we made it to the resort. Did you think that I wouldn't be upset about something like that when I found out? About that. Every year, I try and ask for us to go to a place that I want to go to, but Bree always picks on me by saying that is not my choice and lets her kids decide. Did you know that it's me who has been suggesting no to all your suggestions? Huh? I know that all you're going to do when you get to the trip you want is complain about how it'll be better without Bree, like you've always done when we go on trips. That's why I told her to leave the plans up to what the kids want to do. Because they will choose to go to places that you can't keep up with us at. Like amusement parks and hiking adventures. 
How dare you do that to me? And how dare you pick on my wife all the time like that? I am not bullying her. I'm disciplining her. If this was all taking place within the company, you would be sent to HR for harassing another employee by forcing them to have to walk 170 miles back home. What? Anyhow, we have a flight tonight out of this country. You hold it right there. If you all leave, then what am I going to do? Your father is already long gone now, and without you and the grandkids, then I'll be all by myself. And that's the exact reason why I asked Uncle Ray to come out and see you. What? We planned to leave you at that resort after telling you about us moving, and so I wanted him there to stay with you in our place. Now, if you have anything to complain about, you can talk with your brother about it. Patrick! With that, it's time to say goodbye. Wait! Patrick! Uncle Ray, the man that my husband and I got help from, happens to be a Holly's older brother. As for what happened at a rest stop when we left Holly in our car at, we made sure to tell Uncle Ray that the car is his now. So we gave him the spare keys to it before we even started driving out to the resort. So that car is in his hands now. After their stay at the resort, Holly and Uncle Ray both went back to his house where Holly would be staying from now on. And in an attempt to run away, Holly took the keys to our car from his house and started it up. She was able to get out onto the street, but as she approached the first stop sign, she mixed up the brake pedal and the gas pedal and accelerated right into the back of a truck. She only sustained minor injuries that wouldn't cause her much trouble, and she was sent back home from the hospital that same day. But since that car belonged to Uncle Ray now, he was not happy with her at all for destroying it and forced her to pay him for the car since it was completely totaled. This was her first year of getting social security too, so all of that went right into Uncle Ray's pocket. She now has to start working part-time in order to get any money to support herself and she can say goodbye to having a laid-back and relaxing life in her old age. Thank you for watching and listening. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave a comment about what you thought of the story. We look forward to seeing you at the next story. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.